What's going on? You're watching Bass TV, and oh yeah, today we are talking about the Steel Wool Sid, baby, the lead singer of the band Steel Wool. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. That means that yes, I finished the Canny Valley story part one, baby. Yes, let's get it. <laughs> let's go. Because the Canny biome is still super, super new, the missions are a little wonky. But then again, some main quest missions are always wonky, so nothing different here. Sometimes you may have to search three and four missions before you find what you're looking for. But just keep hitting it. Keep getting at it. Don't get discouraged. Because Steel Wolf Sid is a monster. And if you're in Canny and you need any help getting them, right there. And the link will be in the description. Hit me up. I got you. So now let's get into it, man. Steel Wool Sid, Mythic Constructor, New Kinetic Beats Subclass. Ooh. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Ooh, I like the biker jacket, the bandana, the backpack with all the stuff I got on the hardware. You see it. You see it. You see it. The, the chain on the, oh my god, the black pee rocking, the leather gloves with the spikes on them, and the tattoos, you see the tats? You see the tats? Look like some type of tribal dragon something going on here. And on the back of the head too, I see you. As you can see, I made him five star. He is my first five star hero, baby. I love it. I just had to do it, I had to do it. As we know, he is the lead singer of Steel Wool that uses hardware to drop kinetic beats. Oh my lord, and they are not lying. So his three abilities are obviously, he's a constructor, he's got bass, boom, decoy, and bull rush. Now mind you, some of these stats may not look exactly like yours because I have mine leveled up all the way to five star. The three new perks that come with the kinetic beats are lightweight, increases hardware attack speed, by 24% software increases hardware heavy attack energy efficiency by 150% and then maximum overload increases damage of kinetic overload by 310% now if you didn't know what kinetic overload was critical hits with this hardware melee weapon trigger a kinetic overload dealing additional damage and knock back to the target. So every time you hit with a hardware weapon, like a hammer, or a crowbar, or a wrench, it's gonna deal a crap load more damage. In my case, it's an extra 44,218.9 energy damage. So although you don't have to use a hammer as your hardware weapon, you're gonna want to, because he's got a couple other things in there. Hammer critical chance increases hammer critical rating by 18%. So if you're out there swinging a hammer around, homie's like, I got you. His decoy also has a little something something to it. It's got going and going. Decoy lasts two seconds longer and decoy stun. When decoy is destroyed or expires, it creates an explosion that deals impact and stuns enemies for 1.5 seconds. And yet again, with the kinetic overload, you got kinetic overdrive. And when kinetic overload is triggered, it affects targets within a point five tile radius of the primary target. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Let me get to these bonuses and then we getting into the game, man, because oh, I want to show you what he's about. Oh, but before I forget, before I forget, you know the one drawback? The one drawback for me is base. Three segments. It extends three segments. I like big bases, man. Is it three segments? But it's cool though, it's cool though, watch, you'll see why. Okay, for a support squad bonus, he's got hammer critical chance, and for the tactical squad bonus, it's the decoy stun, we just went over that. So for my squad bonuses, I am running Stars and Stripes Penny, she is an Electro Pulse, which gives me actuated attacks, that increases my blunt melee damage by 24%. And I've got Power Base Penny to utilize that power modulation. All right, we're gonna rescue some survivors, but before we rescue some survivors, let me put some squares down so you can see exactly how homie's base works. Because that's the only thing that we're not going to be able to utilize here in this survivor mission. I'm going to throw this down here. And boom. It's going to extend three spaces, right? So I can put another one down here. And it's going to touch that one too. But that's it. 
It doesn't go any farther than that. What's that about? So I move my base to the top of the objective and as you can see, it goes one space back because now it's one up. But it isn't bad for a mission like Retrieve the Data. It won't be horrible, but you might want to have the base on the ground because as you can see, you already lose a space having it one tile up in the air. So eh, it's just not too good, you know, it's not too good. All right, let me show you what he's really about. Let me go find some survivors to save. Oh, hey, before we find some survivors, what's going on? Zapper, laser eyes, what's going on? What's going on? Bow, do you see that? Heavy attack, right? And I'm only using 25 energy, man. That is ridiculous. Like, back up out of here. What are you doing? What are you guys doing over here? Get out of here. Mm-mm-mm. Lightweight at work? Hmm. All right, let's actually go find some survivors this time. Oh, there he is. He says he doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to die. What's going on, guys? Get out of here. Mm-mm-mm. With a weapon that can crit as much as possible, which now with the recombobulator is about 50 or so percent, Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Where you going? Where you going? Look at him. Look at him. You're gone. You're gone. You know what? Heavy attack because it only costs... It costs less than 25. Oh, my God. Look. Hey, look. Look, 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 look. 100. Oh, my God. 84. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, Lord. I could just spin around like 100 times if I wanted to. Look. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six in a row. <laughs> so beautiful. Found another survivor. Oh my lord. Having a hardware weapon is just absolutely ridiculous. Especially a hammer, man. Oh, he has increased crit chance too. Oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous. I mean, crit rating. Sorry. Yeah, let's throw, let's throw the decoy down. Throw the decoy down, because, you know, he has a little extra extra on the decoy. Obviously, a better choice would have been Trailblazer AC, because Trailblazer AC is going to give your decoy the ability to meow, 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 electrocute <laughs> enemies. Let's check around the edges of the map for a wall smasher. Ooh, I think I see a fire smasher. Ooh. Let's come here. Yeah, come here, homie. Come here. Come down here. Come down here. Come down here. Yeah, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. So I can use my bull rush. Come at me, bro. What's up, homie? Stop. Oh, my God. He just ran right through it. That didn't work out as planned. Well, let's let's uh, let's uh hit everybody with one of those. And let's hit him with one of those also. Back up, homie. Don't do that. Worry about that. Right? Worry about that. While I hit you some more. Back up. I know you're in the smoke right now, so you're not going to take a lot of damage. So let's wait a second. Let's wait a second until you come up out that smoke. Yeah, come up out that smoke. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. There we go. That's what was supposed to happen. And then I could... Hiao! Hold that. Hold that. And that. Get out of my face. So lucky that he was a fire smasher. If he wasn't an elemental, he would have went down. What are you throwing stuff at? Stop throwing stuff at home, girl. Still did my thing against him, though. Still did my thing. What kind of messed me up was just the fact that, uh, for some reason, my bull rush didn't work. Ooh, bye-bye. Have a nice day. See you later. <laughs> now, let's check out how long we can survive in this large encampment. Um, not gonna pull out a ranged weapon. Just gonna use the melee. Come here. Come here. I hope I get a lot of laser eyes in one area, please. Let's drop that right there. Let's see how that works. I gotta go take care of these guys first. Because those eyes are going to get stunned after. <clears throat> Die, please. I'm going to use the heavy attack again. See, they're all stunned. Beautiful. Now I can do this right in the middle. I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, boy. I took care of a nice amount of them, though. That was kind of cool. It was a large encampment. There's not much left. Come here. You back up. Get stunned. Let me start smacking you around. Back up. Don't do that. Don't do that. I said don't do that. Hold that. And that. And that. My mans. 
My man's. Kinetic overload like crazy. I love it. There goes another one. I did die. But I would say that was pretty good. If I'd have had a ranged out, that would have been nothing. Kill the laser eyes, then I'd have been able to on everybody. Let's continue our search, though, for some more wall smashers. Oh, hi, base. Thanks, Ray. I hear one. Hey, hey, let's try to grab this first, though. It's a regular one. Let's grab this shadow shard first, right? Let's kill homie with this. Let's wake him up. Let's wake him up. And then we're going to try. Should we try to knock him off? No, I won't knock him off. Let's fight him. Yeah, come over here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, just don't knock yourself off, please. Come on up. Come on up. Ugh, don't knock yourself off. All right, cool. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come over here. Come over this way. Let's talk. Let's talk, homie. Let's talk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Borush. Hold that. Oh, I already had it out. Ooh. Bow. Hold that one. And that one. Don't try to hit me. Hit him with a knockback yet again. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Three heavy attacks. And one little meow. And he was gone. He didn't know what to do. Told you, man. If it wasn't elemental, he was going to get dropped with the bow. Straight up. Like I was saying earlier, though, the only drawback is really this base, man. Decoy is nice. It's beautiful. It stuns, as you saw with that encampment. Everybody was stunned as I went back over. Boom. <laughs> Bull Rush is beautiful for Smashers, as you saw. I don't know why it didn't work that first time, but you saw how it was supposed to work. And Laser Eyes. Come on, man. Right on cue. You guys are no problem. I mean, as long as you're close to him, you know? As long as you're close to him. And I'd say he definitely deserves that mythic tag. Because just the fact that I could swing this bad boy around. Look at that. Look at that. Now, mind you, I do have a heavy attack efficiency on my Hustomper. But, I mean, it's crazy. That's crazy. No other constructor can swing a hardware weapon the way he could swing that joint. He'd be like, hyow, 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 hyow. Once again, if you need help getting this hardware swinging steel wool Sid, hit me up. Join the live stream. Link is in the description. That's all I got for you right now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. This has been Abatata TV, and I am Abatata.